Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Dr. Shea here from The Dentalist. We've tackled elasticity, viscosity, and even explored the intriguing thermal properties, chemical properties, miscellaneous properties, and biological properties of dental materials that influence our everyday dental work. Today, we're switching gears to a crucial material that often forms the backbone of dentistry gypsum products for dental costs. So what exactly is gypsum and why does it hold a special place in dentistry? Well, my friends, let's find it out together. Imagine creating dental wonders outside a patient's mouth. You need something that mirrors the hard and soft tissues. That's where models and dyes come into play and that's where gypsum plays its role. So what are dental models and dental dyes? Models replicate several teeth and the surrounding tissues, while dyes are like detailed portraits for single teeth. We use materials that start as a fluid but harden to create these replicas. Now, there's a magnificent five in the world of dental gypsum products as defined by the ISO, the International Organization for Standardization. Let me walk you through each of these five types. Type one is dental plaster for impressions. Type two is dental plaster for models. Type three is dental stone for dyes and models. Type 4 is dental stone with high strength and low expansion for precise dyes. Type 5 is dental stone with high strength and high expansion for detailed dyes. Now, when it comes to creating these dental replicas, we've got a checklist to follow. Let's see what's on it. Dimensional accuracy. We want our replicas to be spot on. Dimensional stability. One set they should keep their shape. Fluidity, easy flowing materials to capture every detail of your impression. Strength and hardness, it should have good strength and hardness and no shattering at all. These materials should play nice with others and not damage impressions. Now, when we convert gypsum into calcium sulfate hemihydrate, the magic happens. It's a bit like turning water into ice, but in dental world. Now, dental plaster and dental stone. Dental plaster is a bit like white plaster used in orthopedics, and it's created through a process called calcination. And dental stone, well, it's like dental plaster's cooler cousin made through a different process. In the next videos, we'll talk about their incredible application in and dentistry. Uh, meanwhile, thank you for joining me for the video. If you enjoyed this lesson, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. I made this video a little shorter myself so that it's easier for you to grab the concepts. Keep those questions coming, stay curious, and let's continue exploring the wonders of dentistry together. Until our next lesson, this is Dr. Sheikh signing off.